Getting sick is the last thing any of us wants, of course, especially during a raging pandemic. Yeah, and trying to figure out exactly what's making you ill can be tricky since some diseases and conditions share the same symptoms. WBRE 28, WYOU 22, Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller is here to explain. Mark? Candace and Nick, there are certainly similarities among upper respiratory illnesses, but also significant differences to help determine the best course of treatment and prevent spreading to others what's making you sick. I did not have a fever. I did not have chills. But the I symptoms was, Jenny Heatrow does have this cold week cold. are the result of COVID-19, specifically what's likely the Omicron variant. So I felt like I had a little bit of cold. I had a scratchy throat. I was a little bit stuffy. And I thought, oh gosh, maybe it's a sinus infection or something. We're still seeing a lot of overlapping with uh, symptoms of COVID-19 and other types of common respiratory tract infections. Infections like RSV and the flu. But the Omicron variant tends to share many of the same symptoms as the common cold. Symptoms including a runny nose or the sniffles, a headache or body aches, a fever and or fatigue, coughing and or sneezing, and a sore throat. Dr. Brzezinski says some very preliminary data suggest an Omicron infection might remain limited to your upper respiratory system and not the lungs. Another Omicron symptom might be night sweats. And these are, you know, drenching sweats um, that can even wake you in your sleep where you, you would have to actually change your clothes. So to, to that degree. Dr. Brzezinski says Geisinger has had some Omicron variant patients in the last couple of weeks exhibiting those types of symptoms. But again, um, you know, still waiting for, for more data and really more information to understand um, if these truly are something unique to Omicron um, or is this just part of, you know, the general respiratory tract infection. Dr. Brzezinski says a diagnosis isn't based on symptoms alone, but offers this medical advice. And if you're feeling any of these symptoms, to please stay home um, and get that testing completed. Indications to date are that Omicron infections are mild for the most part, but Nick and Candace, they can be serious for someone with underlying health conditions. Mark, what is the best treatment for somebody who is infected with the Omicron variant? That treatment could be wide ranging. It could be uh, something like monoclonal antibodies. We've done stories on that mm -hmm. in recent weeks. It could be antivirals. Uh, there are some other prescription medication that's also available if you're among those who are seriously infected. However, for many of us who have mild symptoms, that means treating it kind of just like a cold. Plenty of rest, plenty of liquids, but by all means, check with your doctor, sure. especially if you're unsure. Okay, great advice. Thank you, Mark.